G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here, back for another episode, and in this one we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Lists app, the new kit on the block, and how we can create a list, but save it to an existing SharePoint site. So we don't have to use uh, head into SharePoint, create a list from there, we can use the new Lists app, and we can save it to some recent sites that I've got access to. So, let's jump in. Click on Lists, again... This is one that I've created earlier. Uh, I've saved, actually saved that to my list. So when I click on my lists, it actually comes up under there. Interestingly enough, the my lists are stored in your OneDrive for business. All right. So let's now create a new list. I'm just going to create one from another template. All right. So let's, uh, let's do an issue tracker. All right. So an issue tracker common uh, among uh, projects, all right? So let's create one of these. We can see here we've got all the the columns that are gonna be provisioned here in preview. Let's use this template. I'm just gonna call this 365, the 365 issue tracker. We'll give it a title. We'll just keep all the defaults. We'll leave a description. We'll leave the, the bug as the icon, but instead of saving it to my lists, we're gonna save it to an existing site. So you can see here, I've got the sites in my list. I'm gonna change it to this project site, okay? And I've now got the option to be able to save it in the site navigation, all right? So let's create that now. And we're going to be taken to uh, the, the new list experience, right? So full width, full screen mode of this particular list. But what we can also do, and you can see in the URL here that it actually has created that list inside of that SharePoint site, all right? So if I copy this URL and I jump out to the actual SharePoint site, what we'll see is we've got that list in the um, in the left-hand navigation bar. And we can see here that when I click on that, I've now got that list experience inside as we normally would, all right? But I've also got the option now to be able to click on this list that I've just created, and it's gonna open up into this experience, right? So I'm entering it in from lists, from Microsoft lists, and I've got this experience here. Same uh, user experience when I go to create new items or edit items or things like that. Because it's built on top of SharePoint, we've got that same experience, but we've now got its own dedicated app and we now aggregate all the lists that we create into a single user interface here. And we can then access it from here as well. But as I, as, I, as we saw before, we've got that list that's actually been provisioned and is now part of that particular site. So let's have a look, let's add a new item. I'm gonna enter it in from the lists app um, let's go for OneDrive it does not sync as the issue. We just put in some values here. We'll give it a priority of high, a status of new. Now personal group that it's gonna be assigned to. Now I'm gonna assign it to my support account. The date reported, let's just put today's date um, and I will log that issue myself and let's just save that and see what happens. So you can see here, what's interesting here is that it, it already has the column formatting uh, associated to this list because we started it from a template. We've already got the, the column formatting here that you can see and it brings that with it. Okay. Now, if I, now I haven't done this before, so let's have a look. Let's format this column and you can see here, that we've got some formatting uh, of the column that we can change and adjust if we need to. So that's all come brought forward as well, all right? So what we've done there, just to recap, we've jumped into the new list app. We've created a new list from a template, but we've saved it to a recent site that creates that list inside of, uh, inside of that SharePoint site. In my case, the 365 project site, it's added it to the navigation on the left, and you can see there, even though that I added uh, an item from the list experience, it still adds it um, adds it to the to the the list in the SharePoint site because it's the same list. You're just accessing it from a different way. All right, 
Great experience, all right? First look at how we create a Microsoft list from the list app, but we're saving it to a recent SharePoint site. Hope that brings you some value. Nice first look. Stay with me for the next episode.